Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4 BMG. You know, pretty looking Bob today. These are work clothes. We just pulled some plywood off the windows. Hurricane Adalia has left the state. It's into Georgia. We still have some wind. We still have some trailing bands coming through. The shack was being monitored using the Hurricane WatchNet. And I was using my F-Loop 2.0 in the attic space for that. I want to get the outside antenna up. You're going to see a video drop real soon where I talk about converting my Cha Portamast and a 30-foot wire going down to a Cha Hybrid Mini to my station reference antenna. That video will be out in a week or two. This is kind of a maybe a teaser for that. I had to pull that down because tropical storms slash hurricane winds were coming our way. I didn't want that exposed. So while I monitored the hurricane watch net in the shack last night, I want to get the outside antenna up right now. No cuts on the video. I'm not chopping anything out. You're going to watch me put my camera down. You're going to watch me go get the port mast ready. It's an unedited video because I want you to see how quickly this station reference antenna sets up. So let's grab the port mast and walk out to where it goes. And this quickly, the antenna mast is in the ground. Now, let me grab the American flag. We want to treat it with respect. And we'll get it out here, get our flagpole going, because I live in an HOA. I'm allowed to have a flagpole. We'll get that flagpole partially up just with one section of the portamast, and then I'll show you what I'm doing with the Cha Hybrid Mini in that utility box on the side of the house. Again, I'm gonna have a full video review on this, showing you how I set this up as my station reference antenna. And it's quick, right? You're watching me basically put up my station reference antenna on a flagpole. So, well, I should take you with me, and you're gonna see why in just a second. So again, you're going to get the full video. I usually like to do my videos very polished. And I like to cut out things that are either noise or fluff. But not today. I want you to see the whole thing. Look at what I've done. My wire winder goes in my utility box. I guess I shouldn't close that because when I'm done with this, the winder is going to go back out there again. Back into the box. Okay. We will have an antenna in minutes. So let me get my wire off of this. I do put a piece of elastic shock cord on the end of this and that attaches to the child portamast. I'm going to flip the camera real quick because I can do that in post editing and look what my flag is doing already. So it took me just minutes to undo this um, yesterday morning preparing for this hurricane to come our way. Fortunately, we got by with just uh, some nasty wind and uh, rain. Um, we were fortunate here in Palm Harbor. Palm Harbor is on the northwest side of Tampa Bay. Okay, we're going to take this and go back out so you can see what's happening at the flagpole. Again, I know that editing here is going to be a little bit choppy. Well, I guess no editing that's what i mean it's going to be choppy because there is no editing antenna attached next section it goes i have a flagpole antenna mast that quickly so this video is coming like i said in about a week i'm going to show you how i converted my child port mast uh, to my my station reference antenna now we've got people blowing the yards off hopefully you can hear me Got a lot of wind noise coming, but uh, all right. Not my normal style of video. I like to be polished. I like to edit. I like to do as many takes as it gets to say everything perfectly. Today, I just wanted to show you how quickly Chop Portamas gets set up. 